Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence. In today's video, I am going to show you how to convert date that is in categorical format into actual date time. So let's dive in. First, I went ahead and got the URL of the data from data frame we are going to be using. And I'm going to go ahead and import pandas as PD. Shift enter runs the current cell we are in and create a new cell below it. Let's go ahead and read our data frame by doing data frame equal to pd.read csv. And we want to read our URL. If we go ahead and do df.head, we can get a preview of our data here. df.head shows you the first five rows. And we can do something like length of df to explore our data a little bit. As you can see, this data frame is about 9,000 rows. But what I really want to show you is the effective to date. So as you can see right here, the effective to date is written here in date format but this is actually recognized as a string and I'm going to show you what I mean here in a minute. So if we do df.dtypes and dtypes is just a way to find out um, the type of data that you have. As you can see here, effective to date is recognized as an object. In Python, object is the same thing as a string, as a text. In a customer lifetime value, it's a float, which is a number. But this date right here is recognized as an object instead of as a date. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a string date into an actual date so that it will be recognized as a date in the data frame. And to do that is actually very simple. So to do it, I am actually going to create a new column. All right. And the reason why I'm creating a new column is just to clarify what we are doing. So I'm going to call this, um, let's just say activation date. And we are going to say that this new column that I'm creating is equal to the effective to date, but to data, but to date time. So to convert our desired column to date time, we just do pd dot to date time and then in parentheses we specify the series we want to convert to date time so in this case we want to convert this one to date time and then we put in the parameter to infer the date time type so if you actually go to pandas documentation you can read more about this So in for date time format, you can make it true or false. So it automatically infer the date time format and we want that. So here I'm gonna do infer date time format and I'm gonna set it to true. And that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and execute this. And now if we do df.head and if you scroll all the way to the end, you can see we have a new column called activation date and it has the exact same information as effective to date but it's actually recognized as a dead time now so if we go ahead and do df.dtypes again as you can see activation date is is considered a dead time while um effective to date is considered an object so basically we created a new column that has the exact same information as this column but this new column is recognized as a date time in the data frame while this column is recognized as a string so since we have a duplicate of this column we can go ahead and drop it and to drop a column is very simple so you basically do df is equal to df dot drop and you specify the columns you want to drop you want to drop
effective to date. So let me go ahead and copy this. And we can do df dot head. And as you can see, the column effective to date is gone. But no worries, we have the exact same information right here in activation date, which is the new column we just created. And we can go ahead and do df.dtypes. As you can see, effective to date is no longer in the data frame here. So that is how to quickly use pandas to convert a Python object into a Python date time. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you did not like this video, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. And you can find me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have data science tutorial blog post. And if you go to machinelearningeducation.com, you'll be able to get access to my free data science resources. So this notebook that I'm using in this tutorial is going to be here in my free data science resources. In my blog post and my YouTube videos, I create a lot of notebook and a lot of resources. And I find it easier to put all of them under one roof. So if you go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free, you get be able to get access to the notebook used in today's tutorial and many other resources. If you have any questions or anything you want me to create, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Again, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.